Reversing muscle relaxation. We talked about reversing muscle relaxation in a previous lecture. Uh, but as an overview of, of anesthesia in general and maintenance of anesthesia and leading up to recovery, remember to give narcotic analgesics during surgery so that the patient is comfortable when they awaken. And many of us give a little extra right at the end of surgery so that as the patient's waking up, they'll have a minimum of pain. Monitor muscle relaxation through surgery and reverse usually because it's not expensive with an anticholinesterase inhibitor such as neostigmine. Uh, the dose of neostigmine is about a half a milligram per, kilo, uh, milligram per kilogram and you have to add in an anti-muscarinic such as glycopyrrolate 0.4 milligrams. Reduce uh, or turn off the vapor but continue to ventilate the patient until the patient begins to make ventilatory efforts on himself, on, uh, him, by himself or by herself. And let them take control of the ventilation as they continue to recover. So initially, you're bagging them or letting the ventilator control their ventilation, but as they begin to make more effort on their own, you back off a little bit on the bagging, and then ultimately they should be able to control ventilation on their own. Extubate the patient when the patient is awake and responding to your voice. So I always talk to the patients as they're waking up. We usually call their name. Uh, and if they open their eyes and I ask them if they're having pain or, you know, whatever, and they respond appropriately, I'll extubate. So you deflate the cuff and you pull the tube out. But don't extubate too soon. Our patient may become apneic and require manual ventilation uh, and laryngoscope may occur, which is spasm in the muscles in the larynx, which can make ventilation very difficult. Remember that often the only reason the patient's breathing at the end of surgery is because they've got the tube in place and it's irritating them. As soon as you take that tube away, they have no reason to bleed, uh, breathe anymore. So you have to make sure they're actually responding before you take away the tube. Place an oxygen mask on the patient, move to a stretcher, and transport the patient to the post-anesthesia care unit or PACU. Maintain verbal contact with the patient during that transfer process. When you reach the PACU, you should communicate with the nurse the information that he or she needs to continue to care for the patient. So, patient's identity, surgical procedure, other medical problems the patient may have, any anesthetic concerns, any allergies the patient has, uh, and really what you expect to be the uh, recovery phase for this patient. You provide orders for pain management and management of nausea and vomiting, and provide orders for control of comorbidities. So you may say, the patient's blood pressure allows to rise to such and such, but beyond that, call me or give the following drug. Same with the heart rates, uh, and uh, the, you don't want to leave the patient without the nurse having information that will allow uh, proper care for the patient. If your communication is clear, the nurse should be able to anticipate potential problems and notify you if any occur. Recovery room nurses are extremely skilled and they rarely need to call the anesthesiologist. If they do, pay attention because if they're having trouble, you need to go and see the patient and deal with them. So in summary, in this uh, lecture, we've discussed the preoperative evaluation of a patient, management of general anesthesia from uh, induction, airway management, maintenance to recovery. We've talked about the transfer of the patient into the recovery room and the support that you are required to give to the uh, recovery room nurse to allow for proper care of the patient. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.